Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, overcame death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that we, who celebrate with joy the day of our Lord's resurrection, may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving Spirit, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He's not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message to you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy, 
and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. It's the angel of the Lord that makes me laugh. That is a good thing on an Easter morning in the midst of a pandemic. That silly angel shining and gleaming in his Sunday go to meeting get up. That impertinent angel crashing into the midst of a solemn assembly of the guilty and the grieving with only an earthquake to introduce him. The show off angel rolling around the formidable stone like a beach ball and then perching on top like a daredevil school by look ma no hands look folks no body either well heaven is breaking loose here matthew's gospel is really the most preachy of the four of them but this feels more like monty python like all high comedy this pulling out all the stop scene will seem funnier to some than to others the villains in the piece aren't laughing. In fact, they are doing, we are told, a pretty fair imitation of a dead man. That's funny, too. That's as close as anyone in this tableau at the tomb comes to looking like a dead body. A pair of Marys may have been stunned into speechlessness by the angelic antics, but it would be hard to tell. They have been the silent sentries at an execution and an entombment. They have apparently been the virtually invisible witnesses of an amazing ministry and associates of an extraordinary man. They must know more than they say, for they have yet to say anything that anyone has remembered. Don't be afraid, says our scene-stealing angel. Well, that's not original. Angels often say that. It's harder to know if it is helpful. A chatty angel where only yesterday lay a silent corpse is a pretty good clue that life and God will shortly be out of control. A little healthy fear of the unknown, the unimaginable, the unpredictable seems appropriate under the circumstances. Doesn't Matthew know that like Mary and her friend, we have kept vigils aplenty of our own, bearing wordless witness to crucifixions large and little, near and far, powerless, in the face of the vulnerability of the innocent and of the mystery of death. Checking in on the world of death, the work of death is a daily chore for us these days. How many new lives has COVID-19 taken? We live in a pandemic with all its uncertainties and threats, the virus, the illness, the deaths, the economy, fear, recession, scarcity, loss, even on Easter, Death is doing its deadly work every day. Checking in on the work of death was the first thing that our Marys had to do on that first Easter morning. And perhaps it is the reality of death that brings us to look with utmost care at life. I think we are learning that anew in our socially distanced lives. There is no word from the tomb to answer the mystery of death. God doesn't need the last word though, for God gets the last laugh. That silly angel is God's giggle that lets us know it is all right, all shall be well. The laughter of God Easter's forth among us today, an echo from all eternity. And God knows we need to hear it, even join it. Resurrection laughter that makes us giddy and glad and impossibly silly enough to dare to love one another. Resurrection laughter, the laughter you hear when the sick are healed, the hungry are fed and the lost are found. The laughter you hear when lives are made whole, when peace is made real, when hope is made new. Resurrection laughter. It's even the laugh you find yourself laughing when you believe that you are forgiven and you find it in yourself to forgive another. So our Marys take off now to tell the tale, at last to find their voices, 
to tell untold generations that he has been raised from the dead. And now we see and do the world differently. In the midst of all that seems to be the opposite of resurrection, there is another way. Do not be afraid. That's the word from Easter's angel and Easter's Lord for us this day. Do not be afraid, because even that of which we are most fearful no longer has power. And that makes all the difference. The poet, the Reverend Eric Attackus, the rector of Church of the Atonement, the poem, Coming, Alleluia. They say there will be no Easter this year, no hats, no hunts, no hemming, no lilies to fill a bright room with a fanfare of pollen, no garden, no angel, no victory. They say that in our journey, born in sackcloth and ashes, it will lead us at last to nowhere. So we sit worried that the tomb this year will be found for once still full that Mary and the others will leave with their spices and come back home with nothing, that this year the women will finally end their work, anoint, and then leave empty. Shh, be still. Do you not hear her? Clucking close by like an old mother hen, brooding and sighing and stretching her wings. Fear not, she says, for I did it before in the silence, in the dark, in a closed and locked room in a world that had known only death. Did I not once prove once for all that there is nothing you can do, no decision you can make for good or for ill that can stop me rising? Our response to the glad news that Christ is risen is Alleluia, Alleluia. God of glory, Lord of life, we give you thanks and praise for leading us from darkness into light and from death into resurrection life. We pray for the newly baptized and those who prepare to be confirmed and received this season that their lives will show forth your glory for your church, for our bishops and clergy, and all the holy people of God, that we may carry the light of Christ into all the dark places of our world. For all who seek God, that they may be gathered in. For Christ is risen. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. We pray for our world in its brokenness, that the peace of Christ will heal the wounds of all victims of injustice and exploitation and transform the hearts of those who lead the nations. For all who share in the passion of Christ through illness, famine, war, temptation, and trial, that they may know your gifts of courage, strength, and hope. For all in authority that they may lead us faithfully, honestly, and carefully for the good earth which you have made and renewed daily in the power of resurrection, that we may be wise and careful stewards of creation. For Christ is risen. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. We pray for all whose lives are closely linked with ours, that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he loves us. For those who suffer in this time of pandemic, the ill and all who mourn, those whose livelihoods are at risk, for all in harm's way, those who work in health care, food supply, law enforcement, that they may be relieved and protected. For all who have died in the hope of the resurrection, for all the departed, that they may share in your heavenly kingdom. For Christ is risen. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, 
Peace I give you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. For Christ is risen. Alleluia. 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 O God, who by the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light, grant that we who have been raised with him may abide in his presence and rejoice in the hope of eternal glory through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be dominion and praise forever and ever. Amen. of his Son, our Lord, bestow upon you the riches of his blessing. Amen. May God, who through the water of baptism has raised us from sin into newness of life, 
make you holy and worthy to be united with Christ. Amen. May God, who has brought us out of bondage to sin into true and lasting freedom in the Redeemer, bring you to your eternal inheritance. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this glorious Easter day and remain with you always. Amen.